a good afternoon, good morning, good evening, my fellow creative designers and content creators. Welcome once again to another exciting episode on this channel. And guys, today's episode, let's learn how I was able to achieve this music cover art for one of my friends, a client, and a body body to me. And guys, let's watch it out. Let's watch it out. And the music is Carolina. It is sweet. It is sweet featuring King Scott. Carolina and guys, um, let's learn how I was able to create this cover art for it. So without wasting much time, control and to open a new document, and I choose the size 2000 by 2000. Resolution is just 300 and RGB. Then just give it the title: music, music cover art 2024, and then click on create. And then you have a nice background like this with me. So go to adjustment. Pick a solid color and then choose color black. Boom. So you pick a color black this way. And then we have the resources file over here. So I'll quickly go to my resources file and then drag this image. I had it online and then you release it. Boom. Nicely like this. And then guys, always wait for it to load. Wait for the image to load. So the image is downloading, so I hold Alt and then scale it up nicely like this to cover the entire screen. Push it at the center, this way, press Enter. And then, all right, so then what you have to do is that you have to add layer marks like this. Click inside the layer mask and then press B on the keyboard to activate the brush tool. Click Caps Lock if your Caps Lock is on. Come and click inside the thumbnail, B, and then increase the brush stroke. We are using the brush color we are using the solid a uh, soft round brush and then make sure you change the foreground color to color black and then let's just brush the edges this way let's brush the edges that way and so doing we are just brushing 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 yes we just brush and we leave the middle nicely this way now let's add some blending option to it and then the blending option was this pin light awesome 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 okay so when we are done we just go to this adjustment again go and pick gradient and then we have set our gradient already yeah we have set our gradient already and then sorry 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 let me just go inside again and then we pick reader yes we pick reader and then we hit here so the gradient is what here is color black and here is what transparent color and that is it so click on ok that way and it put all in a group ctrl j to call it what background so that is our background all right so the background is set nicely now we are going to pick the images yes we are going to pick the images i'll drag this image into photoshop and then release it nicely like this boom then just right click and then rasterize type hit w on the keyboard hit at the background or oh, sorry all right so i'll just go to this i select subject and then photoshop will select subject for me in less than one minute all right so photoshop has selected the subject then click on ctrl c to copy it ctrl v to paste it again and then just go and then delete the one beneath so delete it that way and then you just control t to adjust it and then scale it down this way and push it at the center this way control enter then let's go and pick the main image which is this so drag it into photoshop and then release it nicely like this now rasterize right click and rasterize it and then hit w and then select subject click on select subject at the top here and then wait for it to load and then the subject will be selected leaving the background separate all right so it means the subject has been selected so ctrl c to copy it ctrl v to paste it again and then delete the one beneath and then ctrl t and let's reduce it down this way and then this becomes awesome this becomes awesome the reason why i'm putting this at the top is the music is for this one and then he is featuring this one so it means you own the music then you must come first so put the all of them in a group ctrl j to put it in a group and then add layer mask click inside the thumbnail b on the keyboard 
be on the keyboard and then let's brush the sides awesome 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 you see how we we're able to do everything nicely you can even set the blending option and i think we didn't set any blending option but i just want to test and see so everything is okay now right click and then what convert to smart objects yeah let's convert to smart object and then you go to filter and then you go to um gallery filter yeah gallery filter and then wait for it to load so our gallery filter is set our gallery filter is set and i think yeah we just pick this like that and then click on ok so the, it has been applied onto the image the gallery filter has been applied to the image and guys that was it 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 then the next thing is that we just have to bring the details we just have to bring the details all right so then after that we just brought the top details such as this um produced by wizard wizard and then the the font we use was balega and then this is the hex code cd5516 cd5516 and that is okay so we use the same balega font to write the ed suite featuring king scott and then the carolina that is the title of the song we use i mean anime font yes we use anime font and then the rest was editors are uh, just editors and then you can make it let's say six oh, sorry you can make it says just very little underneath it and then maybe we have something like the music uh parental advice we just drag it this way and then release it boom and then really reduce the size to something small then drop it beneath somewhere like this and guys you are good to go you are good to go you are good to go so once you are done just put everything in a group control j and then call it details yes the details and this becomes the image all right so this becomes the image all right and then oh it should be images yes images yes images and then that is it that is it that is for the tutorial all right so when you finish we needed to do this mock-up for the friend so just download the mock-up and then just open this site and then look at this is a play cd at place cd artwork so you double click at this side and then just go and just pick your design and then bring it over here and then you close it this way and then it will save it over here and then that is it so just go to this side and then just let me go and show it to you for the purpose of tutorials i'll just go here and then drag it this way and then come and paste it here boom nicely like that click enter and then close it this way and then you ask me save changes to adobe photoshop documents rectangular blah, 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 before closing i said oh yes so then 99 percent then it will be saved over here and then i have my mock-up nicely like this and guys this is how we were able to achieve this music cover art and then later on transform it in a mock-up like this for our friend and guys i believe maybe you too you may need something like this and therefore i'm going to share both the psd file and then the mock-up for you so that in case you have a project to design for a friend or for a client you can use the mock-up for them or to, um, just just use the mock-up for them and to design the project for them and then um as you already know it's time for cash outs so please subscribe to this channel like share comment and let me know how you see these tutorials in the comment section below if you have any questions too you can leave it in the comment section below and then i will attend to you and then answer your questions thank you very much for sticking around once again i love you and i'll see you in the next tutorials bye for now